All right, interview with DC4 at Rocklahoma 2008. Right. I would like to start off by, we'll start on this side and go around, maybe just say your name and your position in the band. Uh, Matt Duncan, bass. Jeff Duncan, guitar. Sean Duncan, drums. Rowan Robinson, guitars. All right. All right, first question. As your band kicks off the final days of this five-day event, what have what has been your perspective of the event? Well, we got to play, which was really cool. After the weather thing yesterday, and we didn't think we were going to end up playing. We actually ended up playing, so it was definitely good. We were really stoked about it. How about you, Jeff? I think it's a great event. You know, uh, it's just really cool to, you know, after all these years, you know, seeing that rock, rock music just never really goes away. It really did. And, you know, it's kind of back in a way. Um, so I think events like this are just really great. I think the people behind them are really amazing people because they go through a lot to put these kind of things together just, just for rock, rock and roll, which is a really a pretty fantastic thing. So the people behind the scenes and the bands, of course, as well, are really to thank. They go through a lot of work to put these things together. Um, in general, what does it mean for your band to be able to play such an event? I mean, well, it's just nice to have the opportunity given to us to, to come out here and do it. Uh, and like Jeff said, you know, as of yesterday, we didn't think we were going to be playing today. And we got a phone call this morning saying, hope you guys didn't leave town because, you know, we got some time for you. And we're like, hell no, we're going to stay. We didn't come out to Oklahoma to sit in a hotel room. You know, so it was just a nice, it's a great event for us to be at. We love being a part of it. Yeah. When you inked your deal with Calvest Records, was Rocklahoma part of the deal? Or did they surprise you with the news after you signed? Um, well, no, it wasn't part of the deal. Um, it had been it had been talked about a little bit initially, but we were just trying to iron out the deal and you know get things settled so we can you know get the record re released and all that. And it was kind of a seed that was planted, but it wasn't part of the deal. And fortunately, it all worked out. Because Bill was running one of the stages, and um, he really worked hard, you know, to, to get us on it, pulled a couple favors. So it was just kind of a bonus, and and uh, he really he really made that happen. Now that you have signed, are we going to see a full-blown tour? Or are you guys happy with the gigs in the local LA area? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll tell you something. To be honest with you, I'd be much happier playing out here in Oklahoma and various other places rather than LA. Sometimes, because it's we we would love to be going out and doing some shows and events like this. We look forward to. What are your expectations for the band now that you have signed a record deal? And what was this? And was this deal for multiple CDs or just uh, the re-release of your CD, Explode? Uh, well, right now, right now it's just to re-release Explode because Explode is, for the most part, a brand new album. Right. So um, it's it's a deal that that really is is exclusive to Explode, uh, the album Explode. But um, you know, we'll see how it goes after that. You know, we have a really good relationship with Bill Chavis, and um, I. You know, it, it could turn into doing, a, doing another record with, with the label. But right now, the only thing that's inked is that you know we're going to pursue Explode for now. Cool. After growing up dreaming of playing music, tell us what it has been like being able to play in a couple of bands with Jeff, and now adding Matt and Rowan to DC4 and being able to play with even more family. It's definitely, it's always been good, you know. I, uh, having Rowan in the band has just made it a stronger band. And uh, it's nice to have people who, who are on the same mental plane as well as on the same musical plane. Sometimes with a band you have some uh, marriage difficulties, one could say. And uh, that we haven't experienced that, and it's, it's been a very pleasant experience. And sometimes it can be a bit rough, and this is, this is why we hope to, to take it out farther. We hope to, we're, we're looking forward to Seamus Cleanness and all the stores so we can start uh, laying a foundation. What are the major differences from playing with Odin as opposed to DC4? Maybe. Well, DC4 isn't like 50 years old. <laughs> for one, you know, um, and you know, it's just a different band altogether. Really, DC4 is a band that, 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 that you know, is, has evolved musically from what Odin did. Odin was something that existed in a certain place at a certain time. And DC4 is something that is, is music of, of, of now, music that we're writing now. And, you know, it's, of course, it's different members, it's a, it's a different band. Um, 
and it's, it's a whole different vibe than, than Otis. So they're really just completely different bands. Like you could you could go up to somebody and say, who, who's not, who was never an Odin, and say, what's it like being an Odin? And, and it would be similar to my answer, which is that it's a completely different band, so it's a totally different thing. Other than that, you know, I'm playing with Sean. You know, but that's going to be a given in any given, in any situation musically as far as pursuing a band for me. Tell us how fortunate it is to grow up playing in the fertile LA music scene. Well, hey, it was fun at the time, but it's really it's difficult now to play gigs and stuff there. And, and uh, it's funny because we played that scene for you know umpteen years. I don't even know how many, and we end up getting a deal out of Maryland. So you know, <laughs> it's just kind of funny how you know you pound something so hard and people come to LA to become a star, then you end up getting something from somewhere else. You know, it's a difficult scene that it used to be. And it, you, know, I, you know, I'm a little jaded from that scene. But, but, you know. but I think growing up in that scene was very, very beneficial in that, uh, you know, it was really kind of boot camp at that point because we were all so young at that right. period of time that you kind of learned the ropes. And yeah, what not to do, really more than anything yes. else. What <laughs> not to repeat. Yeah. <laughs> so, a lot of good times, too. I mean, I'm not, I can imagine. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. But, yeah. I don't get me wrong, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I just I wouldn't trade it. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it. But at the same time, it's not like it used to be. <laughs> Give us a heads up on some shows you'll be doing soon. Anything planned? Well, we're doing uh, Chuck Oklahoma in about an hour and a half. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oklahoma stage. That's it, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to come over and do some pictures and oh, stuff cool. for you guys. We have, we have a lot of stuff bubbling up, but nothing solid booked yet. We're, there's, there's one thing that I can't talk about, but if we get it, we're kind of holding off booking other things until we know about it. So, but it's, it's a good one, it's similar to this. The Key Club? Yeah. We're, playing, we're playing at the Key Club on the 28th in Los Angeles with uh, our friend Steel Panther, who goes to metal school. Uh, and that's going to be a blast, that's always a good time. We go on at 10.30, uh, 11 actually. Anything you guys would like to add to this interview? To Tell the people out there that something we might have missed in a question, or well, Rowan does because he has a set. Perfect. Let's yeah. get there. Hello. <laughs> uh, uh, how? I mean, how, how do you like being in the band? You know, with three brothers sitting here, and uh, are you part of the family? They make you feel just like one of them. They make, they make me feel part of the family, and it's really great to have been work with such great people. What? Yeah. Uh, what were some of your musical influences? Uh, my influences was uh, Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles and the Police early on and then when I got into the metal it was ACDC and uh, uh, Van Halen and David Lee Roth and all that. I just, you know, just sort of came from, came from that school really and then to, I just like good music. I like good, good music, yeah. Anything else you guys want to tell the fans out there that, you know, I know another question I was going to ask, how's MySpace benefited you music wise? Oh, oh, MySpace is great. It's probably one of the best tools that's ever come out as far as promoting a band. Ever. Well, the internet, period. But that has really done a lot. You know, we had a website for years and it would get hits here and there, but, but when we got a MySpace, it was like, you know, it's just, and it's recently since since we got the deal and we got booked here, it's, we just been blowing up the hits. It's, it's gone. It's shot the way up. In fact, the, uh, the first uh, the first email I got from Bill Chavis wanting to sign the band was sent to my personal email, uh, MySpace page. So wow. it's, it's very beneficial. Right on. I got yeah. an email in there saying that this guy wanted to sign the band. So that's, what, that's what can the fans expect tonight from you on stage? What do you anything up your sleeve? That's just just, just some good, powerful rock, you know. What kind of impression do you want to leave on everybody? What do you want them to remember you for? I mean, the main. For a good ass kicking. For a good ass kicking <laughs> call. <laughs> good, good, hard, loud rock and roll band. I'm you using know. something a little fresh in with it too. A little bit fresh, but keeping the roots of what we love. All right, this concludes our interview with DC4, Rocklahoma 2008. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. Boom. Thank you. Yeah. No, I really appreciate this, man. Oh.